What is up guys, we are back at it with more Mass Effect 3. Uh, in the last one we uh, did the Arda Yakshi Monastery. Uh, in this one we're going to be doing uh, the ex Cerberus Scientist. Whatever that means. Uh, and over here, hopefully we can get back. Please don't let me run out of fuel. Uh, okay. Hopefully there's a fuel thing over here. No, I don't see one. Okay, uh, I think there's one near Tuchanka. I remember because, uh. Because I thought how useful it. Like, obviously, th this is just meant for the game, but. If they had a similar fueling station there, I thought it'd be pretty useful during the rebellions. But hey. Alright, so we got, uh. Fine X Server Scientists. Skellix. Skellix is given to the Krogan after the Rachni Wars, but bitterly contested in the Krogan Rebellions and reconquered by the Turians. Left the Turians as caretakers to a Levo amino acid based world they could not have themselves. <laughs> well, that's. uh. pointless. Huh. Interesting. Uh, let's see, we're going to take... Let's take Garrus. Uh, let's see what other armor he has. Yeah, let's just do that one. Uh, let's take Javik. Shot. Oh, crap. I meant to increase Javik's skill points too, but it just accidentally pressed B. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? We have no information on that. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And huh. Reading it right? Sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. Pretty. And these scientists are brave. Oh. Wait, Jacob? Dude, it's like Reunion Central around here. Oh, dude. Can we stop killing people from the second game, please? Six, two, 
Don't die, Jacob. Yeah. Okay. No wonder Cerberus abandoned this place. It's freezing. <laughs> All right, just keep moving. What did these people do to bring this down on their heads? Yeah. This is crazy. Uh. Okay. Gonna help you guys, just need to make sure this is it. Okay. Don't see anything. Alright, let's go kill him. See what else I got. Uh, I got sh shockwave, which didn't do anything. Okay. All clear. Check for survival. Can't believe Jacob's here. That's so cool. Uh. Yeah, my big problem with Shockwave is that it doesn't uh, go far enough. I don't think I've ever used that. your old buddy, Shepard. Jacob, how bad? I'll live. I think. That's, this is so cool. This is Brynn. Do you hear me come in? Is there anyone there? This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Brynn. Okay. That's... This is so cool. This game is like one giant callback after, after another. Jacob! Oh my god! Uh, I'm alright. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now, but they'll be back. Okay. Uh, sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. <laughs> this one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you too. Who are you talking to? Staying out of trouble, oh. I see. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Hmm. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. Yeah, that would... As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. Yeah, that would cause me to be... Scared too. The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. Yeah. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. Okay. He had to know they were going to find you. 
It's a pretty smart bunch. <laughs> we covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Oh, great. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. Yeah. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Jacob Taylor, way out here. That's a surprise. Hmm. Dr. Brown, I'm so sorry. Uh, Jamie, I didn't want to come here with these people. It was his idea. I'm not going to do it without him. Finish the work you started. Our work? Are you crazy? We're all going to die here. It's Dr. Brown. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. He's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Thank you. Okay, in real life, you never promise something like that. Because it's just asking for fate to kick you in the nads. Uh, okay, we gotta talk to that guy. But that's. Uh, that's Bren, Bren. I don't like this. Okay. Alright. Okay, we got Dr. Arch. Wait, the doctor. Oh, this fuckwad. Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer, we met on Project Overlord. Can I kill you, That's please? One way of putting it. Yes, well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. <laughs> uh, I really want to do that, but I mean, maybe hearing his brother safe despite all of his efforts to kill him, intentional or, or not, that might actually be worse. When I was at Grissom Academy, Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, great. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. Yeah. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster who tortured his own brother. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. Hmm. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. That's fair. What happened to Project Overlord? After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. That's good. Because that's the last thing we need right now. And I'm not even going to pretend it was good to see you again. Yeah. I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. Yes, Commander. Oh. Oops. That's all. Good day, Commander. Uh, he sounds entirely too cheerful. Um. Yeah, I... Can I kill him, please? Get the text from Stockholm cell to pack their own crates. I need you up here. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. Hmm. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. 
I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. Okay. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. Wow. How did so many escape? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? Oh my god. Like we didn't have enough to worry about. Yeah. So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Wow. Partners, spouses, parents. They just took everything. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. That it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You win? Like hell you're Jacob, going. you're injured. Yeah. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Yeah. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Okay. The shuttle weight restrictions will be strictly enforced for non Dr. Cole? Got a moment? Of course. What's your relationship with Jacob? Oh. We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. Hmm. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. <laughs> it also saved your life. That's true. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? How did you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. Yeah, he may not look like much, but um, the elusive man is pretty... Uh, terrifying. Uh, it, if he really puts his mind to it, like, there's not a whole lot he can't do. So what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Huh. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. That's not good. Uh... I think I... What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man yeah. came. It was a researcher's power. The elusive man spares me. That technical It also strange to think of. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? Interesting. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. <laughs> Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. Interesting. Okay. Evacuation level is alpha. Okay. Uh, Jacob's help, we've managed to ascertain that some of our colleagues were in fact killed. The contract's terminated, is what Cerberus called it. Huh. Leave those things. Let's just get the hell out of here. Shepard, I'm in here. 
I'm not going to die to save this data. It's obvious it was just uh uh Huh. Let me Anything else? Oh. Some kind of poison. Tailored to Turians. Okay. Assume that means something. I told you that we should have gone to sanctuary. Okay, we got that. And they're really attacking this place hard. Why does he care? Who knows? He's crazy. Can't plan for crazy. Right now, 48% operational. Okay. Hey, you okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. Okay. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. Okay, not touching that. Uh, yeah, I got any Cerberus intel? Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. Huh. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. That's a good point. Like... <sighs> I don't know, I, I might be proven wrong at the end here, but I, I have a... I'm always of the belief that the elusive man means well, but he's just doing the complete wrong thing. Uh, kind of like in the beginning of the second game, where he was like shocked that the Koreans were helping us, uh, and, and I was just like, um, you know, you could play nice he's like well yeah I mean it's it's great w when it works but yeah otherwise you know I'm just like oh. I don't know it's 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 so sad because if he just shut up for a bit and helped us we might actually be able to beat the Reapers uh, what's the story Jacob why are you working in a place like this after we got back well Things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. Yeah. So I quit Cerberus. I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. Really? That's when I lost track of you. Yeah, you sat on a beach? And what did all that fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. Okay. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. And Tally. No, you won't. You can't. The Normandy and Tally. Uh. Okay, yeah. How long have you known Britt? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. Oh. And you run this enclave with her. You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um... If these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life. Whatever's left of it. Makes sense. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. You know, part of me's sad that he never got together with uh, Kasumi, because I feel like uh, they would have been cool together. But, alright. Yeah, like, he's pretty uptight, and she's kind of free-spirited, so I... I don't if know. Jacob says we're going to be alright, I trust him. But my daughter, she's just a baby. I'm happy he's happy. Done if we hadn't shown up. They are brave, but misguided. 
and now they may all be dead. Hmm. This is interesting. Uh, yeah, you got that. I saw something. What's that? Oh. Oh, Carnifex. Uh, got the jump. Okay, that does nothing. This little thing here does zero. I love how this gun can just take off somebody's head. It's pretty cool. We have to get up there and activate those AA guns manually. Okay, let's make sure we got everything. Shield things are annoying, but. Okay.
To a giant gun? Yeah, that's definitely Karis. You do the repairs. We'll do. Ray Javik, it's just the two of us. Yes, Commander. Okay, that's far enough away. I probably could use that turret, but I don't really feel like it. ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We can go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. All right. Let's get these shuttles in the air. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. <laughs> so, Empire Strike Back. Uh, <laughs> nice. That was a cool little Star Wars reference. Cerberus troops are. Oh, jeez. Get those people out of here. Yeah, dude, run. Okay, let's get these people out of here. Here we 
See that guy that just like flew? Yeah, we're kicking ass, man. I mean, I guess it's probably safe to assume given the fact this is on the easiest difficulty. Good grief. Look at all them. Jeez. Teeth again, eh, Shepard? Yeah. Nice to see you back in action. <laughs> yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive, but because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you, Doctor Cole. I have a request, one you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt, I'm at your service. Cool. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Alright. I understand. Safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. Alright. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard. When this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Well, that's really cool to see him again. Okay, so they're gonna help the Crucible too. Hey! Maybe he'll he'll meet up with uh, Kasumi. Hack it here. I know I'm reaching, but... I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Good. Jacob Taylor is with them, and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. Good. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. Yeah. I'm with you. Shepard out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we got some new assets here. Ex Cerberus. Uh who's who man search for yeah. yeah. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Gavin Archer. Oh, he's there too. Uh 
The study of VIs and AIs, in particular the GATH, gives them unique insights into parallel processing and their system communication. Cool. Jacob Taylor. I think he's worth more than Archer, but alright. Uh, good time service. Oh, he turned down formal reinstatement. Cool. Sweet, man. Check in with everybody. I just figured you'd be more sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. You've never been big on aliens. Yeah, I enlisted to kick ass, just like everyone else. But I need a better reason than it has scales to go kill somebody. And if Cerberus is taking our dishonorable discharges and Cat-6 washouts, it's just one more reason they're not worth a damn. That's fair. Commander, Caden was looking for you. I believe he's in the crew quarters. The Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. Good. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. Yeah. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. <laughs> you're turning into a regular marine. Yes. Well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. Hmm. Huh. Commander? Interesting. Uh, I think, no. Let's talk to these guys up here. How's Jacob? He'll be okay. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Nice to see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. Yeah. After everything he's done, the elusive man can't pretend he's fighting for humanity. Anyone who isn't indoctrinated has to see that by now. Glad we got out early. Yeah. Commander? What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I'm speculating whether, if you went far enough out or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equaled three. Hmm. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Why? What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> That's... Interesting. Yeah, like, there are certain branches of science today where they're really only relative to our current place in the universe, and since we don't have, like, any objects or things that are outside of our sphere of, in of influence, it's, uh, um, it's unknown if it's the same everywhere. That's kind of cool to think about, actually. Huh. Uh. Oh, James and Garrus, or... Okay, uh, let me see. Caden want to talk to me. What up, Caden? Where you at? He's not there. Okay. Oh, crew quarters. Durr, sorry. What's up? Hey. What's going on? You got a minute? Sure, Caden. What's up? You know, I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh-oh. Okay, hit me with it. Yeah. So those Cerberus scientists, they were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team, they seem like... like good people. Yeah. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, what if they're more like them, trapped inside Cerberus, struggling to get out? Tell me what you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. 
I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many, a choice to leave someone behind. No. Until you're in that moment. <sighs> Thinking about Ashley, aren't you? So, yeah, you know, I don't know. Anyone that comes forward, like these people, we help, no matter what. That's the best we can do. I know. Sometimes the best we can do won't feel like enough, but it's all we've got. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life, they were good people. Uh -huh. They were professionals. I didn't know them all. And the elusive man? Was he a good person? Once. Ever. Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the collectors. Right. Exactly. But so you never saw this coming from him. From him. Sorry. I'm not sure what I want you to say here. I guess I'm just looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. Yeah, I mean, I knew throughout the second game he was a little shady, but I didn't expect to be fighting him in this game. Back then, he wanted the best for humanity, and he had resources to spare. Yeah. But then it became humanity first, and at any cost. And that, that's a very different thing. But this? No. I never saw this coming from him. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. Well, thanks, Shepard. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should find a way to take your mind off things. Yeah. I know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He keeps losing his shirt to James. Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. Uh. <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. See you around. You bet. Hey, if you get a moment, we should head out to the Citadel for a snack. I know a place that, uh, still has steak. Did we already do that? I should get back to this report. I'll catch you later, Shepard. Okay. Um, cool. We already talked to Dr. Chuck. Are you Lodge. sure you want to play this game? What's the matter, Vicarian? You chicken? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> though I've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it. Oh my god. But if you're suggesting I'm scared, game on, Vega. Age before wisdom. Okay. Back in my CSEC days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had. Now, I tracked down this guy, Saren. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was with Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're old. <laughs> Good grief. Uh, okay, so they're having like a bullshit thing. Hey, Commander. Hey, Commander. Okay. I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. Don't mind us. Just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. <laughs> Shepard. Interesting. Have we heard from Agent DeTrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the Loas relay. Ready for the next mission? Super I'm glad you're back there fighting. Let's see. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know you have. I'm Archangel. <laughs> maybe I heard something about that, too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little 
house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega. <laughs> Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. Had to kill them by myself. Two worm necks, that's almost impressive. Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly. What? <laughs> the Alliance teach you to make up crap like that, or did you figure <laughs> it out all by yourself? <laughs> it's a gift. Oh my god. These people. Folding chair or something. Gabi, have you ever seen recordings of Liara's mother, Matriarch Benezia? Yes. What about her? And remember Samara, the Asari Justica? Where are you going with this, Kenneth? Have you noticed that older Asari women seem to be a bit more ample? Oh my god. Do you think they just keep growing? Kenneth! <laughs> I think I'll spend my sunset days in an Asari retirement home. If I don't kill you first. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> Tone it down. You and this human called Jacob were both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. <laughs> that is all. Okay. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. Mm. I trust you, Commander. When you say you no longer expedite Cerberus' goals. Otherwise... Perhaps later, Commander. Interesting. So check in with, uh... Well, I mean, if James is up talking to Garrison, it's just Cortez down here. Good to see you, Commander. Okay. Nothing. Let's just make sure nothing else has popped up. Any cool little toys. Uh, nothing. I'm also gonna upgrade the Carnifex. Okay, um, so we got that done, so we saw Jacob again, that's, that's cool, um, he's helping with the crucible now, what else do I gotta do, uh, lots of stuff, I gotta go back to the citadel, I think, uh, let me just check my list here, Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, looks like I gotta go back to the Citadel uh, to talk to some people. 
and then I think I'm going to be doing the second part of Arya's DLC. Um, yeah, so that'll probably be the video after next. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time with more Mass Effect 3.